video. I've got a quick one for you, but all of our parts are in to finish the AK project from Cobra Arms. Now, like I said in the last video, I really want to thank Cobra Arms for sending all this stuff out to the channel. Uh, we've got some really cool stuff sitting in front of us here. So let's go over all the parts that we're going to be putting on the AK project. All right, so the first thing we got is our optic mount. Now this is from RS Regulate. This is my first product from them, but I actually did an interview with these guys at AIM Day a couple years ago, and they make some really awesome parts for the AK platform. So this is the AK300 modular side mount. The next thing we've got is an AK retainer plate, and this is from LBE Unlimited. Now, if you know anything about the AK platform, it has what they call a shepherd's hook in it, and it's a real pain in the butt to take it out, and it's even bigger pain in the butt to put it back in. This kind of eliminates all of that, and this will be the first time I've used one of these retainer plates. The next thing we've got is our trigger kit. Now, this is from Hyperfire, and I'm really excited about this. I have one Hyperfire trigger and one of my ARs, and it's probably one of the best triggers that I have. So I'm super excited to try this one out. Now, this is the Mark II AK trigger. This is what the back of the package looks like. But this has got your spring, your trigger, your hammer. Everything comes in the kit. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the furniture. And this is going to get a lot of people upset because most of you wanted me to refinish the wood that was on the AK. Uh, I will tell you, when I started taking the AK apart, most of the furniture cracked. It was breaking. It was in really bad shape. And let's face it, everyone that watches the channel knows I'm not a big fan of wood furniture. So, I did not know that B5 Systems was making AK furniture now. And I've become a big fan of B5, especially after getting the Cox Arms EMR1. And I decided to go with the B5 furniture. And I went with a really crazy color. They offered all the furniture in a color that they call plum. So it's kind of got this purplish maroon look, which I think is really cool. Now they also have these in black and they have them in OD green. But anyway, here is our B5 AK pistol grip. And we also got the B5 AK handguard to match. And we also got the B5 AK stock, which is pretty cool. So for all the people who wanted me to keep the gun all original with the wood furniture and everything, sorry I disappointed you, but I think most people who watch this channel pretty much knew that I was going to go a whole different route, and I did. Now, I was going to put an install video of all these parts over on my Rumble channel, but I am not the best when it comes to working on AKs, and it's probably going to be a long, drawn-out video, and I'm probably going to be showing you how to do some things that probably aren't the correct way to do it. Now, if it was an AR or a handgun, we would definitely do an install video on Rumble, but I'm not going to do that with this project. Now, the other reason I'm not going to put out an install video for all these parts on Rumble is because there's already some really awesome videos here on YouTube that show you how to put all these parts in. I'll name drop one guy. I've been watching a lot of his videos lately uh, is Babyface P. The dude is just damn good when it comes to the AK platform. So if you want to learn more about the internal workings of the AK and things like that, I definitely recommend you go over and check him out. And I'll actually link his channel in the description below. Now, I really want to thank Cobra Arms again for sending all this stuff out. This is just awesome. I'm super excited to get it all put together. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the completed project. We're going to go over all the parts. We're going to go over the trigger. We'll probably get the trigger pull gauge out and check the trigger. We'll do all that stuff in the next video. And then I think we'll be finally ready to take it to the range and have a lot of fun with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.